Hey, let's make a train sequence. Given the amount of new shots I was going to have to create from scratch, I decided to recreate the entire scene in CGI. Why not? It's easy. We can buy models on the internet. They're cheap. So I bought some models of New York buildings. I, I bought a train model and a model of Spider-Man and I tailored them to fit my needs. I modeled some tracks. Okay, so for the shot where Toby's arm is getting ripped off, we take our CG arm and the first thing I did to that was I simulated the both the cloth and the skin tearing apart with like a cloth simulation so they dangled a little bit. Then I grabbed some models of muscles and veins and I did another light cloth simulation on top of those to make them flap around a bit and look gross. Then that was looking pretty good, but really the cherry on top of these shots is the blood spurts, the blood on the lens, and the camera shake. The camera shake really is doing most of the work here. Who are we kidding? The most difficult shots though were the ones where I had to completely remove Toby's arms and add bloody stumps instead. And so for that I decided to just go the full CG route. So I was just like, everything's CG. So we have the existing shot as our background plate, and then we 3D track the camera of that, so then we can bring in our CG train to slap on top of it, covering Toby's arms and removing that problem. And then we take our CG model of Spider-Man, put that on top of Toby, and use the background footage as a reference to exactly animate and match the movements of his body in the shot, frame by frame, going through, moving it, tweaking it, rotating it, which is a time-consuming process, but honestly, it's like not that bad. It took me like 20 minutes. and. Uh, I threw some bloody stumps on there for the arms and render that out, cut out Toby's head, slap it back on top, and you're good to go. You have a train to catch.